Oh. Oh. Um. Uh, hello everyone, and, uh, welcome back to the Beaver Creek Pack. Pups, let's stay in the grass. Pups, let's stay in the grass. Oh, goodness. It is the- Oh, and they all popped out of the grass. Um, Solstice? Are you- Solstice is up there. I don't even see- Oh, goodness. I don't even see where the danger is. Um, well, this is sure a way to start. I was just gonna sleep before the, uh, the start of the episode. I don't even see where... I don't even see... Okay, um... It looks like up near Solstice, possibly? The- Oh, there it is, there it is, there- There it is, alright. Oh, Solstice is running in. Oh, goodness, okay, we do not want to get hit by this thing. Stay in the- Stay in the grass, pups, stay in the grass! It's okay- Oh, Solstice! Solstice, watch out! Get out of here, get out of here, get out! Get out, bear, get out! Oh... Boy... Well... That sure is a way to start off the episode. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Uh, we are here at the Beaver Creek Pack, and uh, it seems that, that Willow has recovered at 33%, so that's good. Um, and the bear's gone now, so we should be fine, but man, poor Solstice took a beating. He's like probably half health. I didn't see what the actual percent was, but maybe some of you guys did. Oh, but I'm glad you're all right. That that was that was terrifying. Um, let's uh let's sleep again, get some additional rest, and hopefully Solstice will heal up some. And uh, I guess come dawn, we'll see where things are. All right, dawn is here. Oh, pups, why don't we stay in the grass for a little bit more, just to be extra safe? We're full on affinity, so we don't have to worry there. At least it doesn't seem like we've got stranger wolves. Everybody's down to 73. Willow is healing. Solstice is back up to almost 70. But let's also check on... Oh, and it looks like uh, Beaver's at 18 almost. And the others are at 19. So we actually don't have that much longer here. Uh, let's show the pack territory. Things are all right. We could stand to do some marking. But first, let's go get some food. Uh, we actually can pop right over the hill here to the beaver trail on the other side. There's a couple of them, actually. There's one over here, and there's one open. I think I maybe smell beavers from it right now, uh, but there's some on the other side as well. So we should have plenty of chance to hunt, hopefully. If we crouch right over here, are there any on the trail? Oh, Solstice is, uh, Solstice is running ahead. Okay, I don't see any on this trail. Let's see if we can go to the other side, because there's another trail right over here. Um, okay, yeah, it looks like there's some coming this way. Let's see if we can jump one of these guys. Oh, there's a few right there. Let's Solstice, Solstice. Oh, he, oh, never mind. We, we go for it, I guess. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get it, even though we didn't manage to ambush it. Solstice here, can you help? Solstice, can you give us a hand? There we go, he's jumping in on it. I'm just gonna make sure Cricket's stamina stays good and we bit it just in time for it to, to, to throw us off there. All right, let's see if we can get another bite. We might actually be able to do it if, if Solstice helps. Solstice, are you okay, bud? Okay, it's attacking us now. Uh, if he comes around and uh, attacks, we might have a good chance. Are you good? You good? Okay, oh, let's see. Oh, no, we're, no, 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 grab it, grab it, grab it. Solstice, help, Solstice, help. There we go. Can we get it? No, it's gonna go in the water. It's gonna go in the water, Solstice. We're gonna run out of stamina. Oh, we got it. We got it. Oh my goodness, that was close. Holy smokes. Um, let's see. I think... Let's bring this back for the pups, and then whatever we don't get to eat of it, we'll let, uh, we'll let, we'll let Solstice eat. Actually, maybe they have. Maybe, I'm trying to, I was trying to remember on the way over here if they have had a beaver or not. I know we brought them a, a calf, but they may, they may have had a beaver. But in any case, it's fitting for them to have it. They can have another one even if they've had one before. Uh, this is going to remain the primary food source of the pack. So it's, uh, it's good for them to get used to it. Uh, that'll be a good thing. But we definitely want to make sure that poor Solstice gets some food, too. We want to get his, uh, his hunger up as far as we can, because, um, he, he, he's gonna need, um, he's gonna need to heal. He's gonna need to keep healing. Uh, we're not quite as low on food. Oh, look at him. Look at him. And look at the babies. They're all doing so well. Even Beaver. Beaver is our run. Oh, look at... Oh, 
Look at the family. This, this is so good. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I gotta get a picture of it. That's just so cute. Look at, look at Beaver's happy little face too. Oh my goodness. We can actually cycle. I never go into, never go into pup cam, but like, look at this. This is so cute. He's so happy. Look at him. Look at him, you guys. He's just so excited. I almost never end up actually going into pup cam because, um, oftentimes it's, uh, it can be a little bit of a risk. Like, if something shows up, you don't want to be stuck in pup cam. But, oh, did everybody get food? Okay, let's, let's woof them back in the, in the grass for now. Uh, and we'll let Solstice finish this off. But it's good to get to spend some time with them. They're so sweet. <laughs> uh, let's bring this over here and we'll see if Solstice wants to eat. And then we'll probably do some territory patrol, see how that goes. Solstice... Well, the one time he decides he's going to stay back, I guess, um, we'll, we'll call him over. But we'll do a little territory patrol after this, see if we can find anything else to eat. And, uh, make sure that our, our borders are all, all topped off. Whew, alright. Well, after that chaotic morning, we are back. We are here with the puppies. Uh, we went ahead and we reinforced some of the territory up here. We'll, we'll come around these edges later. Oh, what's going on down here? Some kind of pack skirmish is happening. It seems like um, uh, Prospect Peaks territory is getting claimed. But all in all, our territory is doing all right. So we're just going to hang out for a bit. We'll spend a little time with the pups. But I think also we are going to go ahead and we will actually just rest for a bit and uh, kind of recover, recover some energy, wait until dusk. This pack tends to be awake mostly at... Uh, Mostly at dawn and dusk. Hi, Evie. What's the matter, Evie? What you doing? <laughs> Ev just came into my room. What you doing? Hi. Hi. It's not time for dinner. It's not time for dinner. It's not. It's not. Come here, Evie. You want to say hi to YouTube? Here. Evie, say hello. Want to say hi? Not now that I'm holding her, she doesn't. <laughs> I don't know what, exactly why she's here. She's just wandering around. Saying hello. You just gonna stay here? Nope, there she go. It, it might might be running around like crazy hours. <laughs> uh, but we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit, I think. And um, we will uh, we'll see how things go. We'll, I think we'll uh, we'll rest because the pack tends to be active mostly at uh, mostly at dawn and dusk. I will move these guys back in the grass though, just so that if something happens, they're nice and well hidden, and we'll see how things are come dusk. All right, it is dusk. The sun is setting. Let's uh, let's make sure the puppies stay in the grass just to be extra safe. Uh, our territory is looking all right. We probably want to brush up on some of the edges, but more than anything, what we're going to want to do is go find a beaver, because also Cricket's getting kind of hungry. And uh, the puppies are at 70% again, so we definitely do want to feed them. And Solstice, it seems like, is in the 80s, so we want to probably give him some food as well. All right. The wind is blowing from this direction, which is not bad for beaver hunting. If we just stay to this side of wherever we end up. Um, what's the matter, Evie? I think this is her runaround hours. <laughs> she is um, a little bit, a uh, little bit hyper at the moment. Either that, or she thinks that it's time for food. But it isn't. It's not, not quite, not quite dinner time. Is there a beaver? Okay, Solstice, be careful. There could be a beaver on this trail. Does not look like there's one on this trail. So let's see about the other one. Oftentimes we've had better luck over there. Um, but let's see. Oh, there is. Oh, Solstice, Solstice, you're gonna scare. Careful, careful, man, careful. All right, let's um let's go here. We'll try and see. It should come back, right? Yeah, it's gonna come back around this way. And then in just a second here, we'll go ahead. Solstice is crouching, it looks like, and we should be able to jump it. And we'll get it. Let's see if we can get some of the the damage boost. Yeah, nice 83 damage. That'll that'll take it down quite a bit. It will still. Oh, it went for Solstice. It seems like. But we should be able to get it, I think. Yeah, especially with him helping us. We it should be just fine if it just doesn't disappear into the unknown. <laughs> right as I say that. But I think almost got it. There we go. There we go. Last little bit of damage there. Um, We'll have uh, we'll have Cricket eat some of this one. And then we'll bring it. Solstice. <laughs> He's just standing right on it. Uh, let's bring the rest of this back for the puppies, though. Make sure that they get some food. 
And hopefully these guys will find something else that they can eat when they uh, when they go out to patrol some territory here, because I do want them to uh, brush up on some of the edges and uh, make sure that that's all going pretty well. All right, here we are, giving the puppies a beaver. We'll let them eat. I don't think they'll eat all of it, but we'll let uh, we'll let Cricket have some of it, and then we'll probably let Solstice. Maybe we'll have Solstice have a little bit too. And then these guys are both kind of running a little bit low on on food. Uh, we just want to mostly keep the pups topped off too, uh, especially, oh, it's Aspen who hasn't eaten. Beaver is the one we really want to watch because Beaver's weight is lowest. Beaver is our runt. I'm pretty sure he's a runt. Um, I'm pretty sure we've established that he is a runt, so uh, we definitely want to watch his weight most closely and make sure that, um, make sure that that all, all goes well, that he's getting enough to eat. And we'll probably have, I'll have Cricket eat a little bit more and then we'll have solstice eat some as well and then we'll have um we'll have him go patrol the territory again and see oh there's not a lot left for him but that's okay uh we'll have him go patrol the territory in a second here as soon as he he eats we might have to take him a little bit further from the pups sometimes they don't want to eat when they're around the pups uh because they, they seem to think the pups might want to eat which is fair enough but uh we just want to make sure that uh he comes with us and we'll we'll have him um We'll have him, uh, we'll make sure he gets some food, and uh, then we will, um, we will go and uh, mark some territory here. Ooh, look at the moon coming up over the mountains. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever, ever seen it that bright before. I mean, I'm sure we've seen the full moons, but that's really, really cool. Uh, we just came out here to the other side of the territory to do some marking. I don't know if we'll make it all the way around the bottom, but my plan is to kind of, um, like, we'll, we'll mark this one, and then my plan is basically to, um, to run along here and maybe come over and mark this one too, but at least this one, at least kind of brush up on that one and make sure that, um, make sure that that's all good. But man, you guys, look at the moon. This game is so pretty. Like, it's just so pretty. The graphics are absolutely gorgeous. They've really done a phenomenal job on them. They're, they're, they're very, like, the amount of realism they've achieved in the graphics too, like this looks so realistic, it's insane. <laughs> they, they've they done an absolutely incredible job with the game and it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. I, I love the art style. Is that, are those other wolves? Excuse me. Oh, those are just dispersals. Okay, they're, they're just wandering. We don't have to worry too much. They kind of just took off when they saw us. But uh, yeah. Hey, are you howling in my turf? No. Don't don't you do that. Excuse you. That's just a little warning. Don't don't you go howling. They thought they won. <laughs> Not your victory. Excuse you. I left because you were leaving. Are those? Oh, those are mule deer babies. I was like, I didn't see the mom at first. I only saw the moose, and I didn't didn't realize that um that that the uh the the moose was a, a bull moose either but let's go ahead i was gonna say let's do some hunting i kind of came this direction towards the beaver trail but since the oh there goes a beaver but since the uh these fawns are are at hand let's go ahead and um oh is solstice helping uh we're got we took some damage there but i figured let's go ahead and hunt some of these guys because they're pretty quick and easy to hunt we kind of scared the beavers off the trail unfortunately oh wait no we didn't no we didn't there's there's one coming solstice he's eating he's gonna scare it well, he can finish it if he wants. We, he's just got to get out of the way. Solstice! Solstice, my guy, you are anything but stealthy. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's another one up here. All right, let's 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 go ahead and we'll wait and we'll see if we can jump at least one of them. All right, I think we can get this guy. He's pretty close. So let's just go ahead and jump him. There we go. We, this trail is a nice one. This is the one by the old den. And it is a, a pretty lengthy trail. Oh, we got... To, <laughs> We got, we got bit there. Solstice, are you gonna help? Solstice is not helping. Uh, it's a pretty lengthy trail though, so it's uh, an easier one to hunt on, which is nice. Um, makes things a little, little bit easier to pull off here. There we go. Oh yeah, we'll be just fine. All right, I don't know how much uh, hunger Solstice has left, but we'll make sure we eat. We'll let him eat, and then we'll, we'll head back to the pups. I think because the affinity is starting to get a little low. All right, here we are. We're back with the pups, and I think they're doing pretty well. Let's just play with them a bit. Um, and I think Solstice might feed him. He's got more food, so that's fine. He completely filled up his food bar, including the extra for pups, so we'll let him do the feeding. 
But uh, yeah, everybody's doing pretty good food-wise. We just want to raise some affinity. And then I think we'll sleep till morning and try to feed them one more time. I don't think, so beaver's just getting to almost 19 pounds. So I don't think we're probably going to end up finishing off today. But uh, we'll probably end up finishing off this litter the next time. And hopefully, these guys are these guys are so close to adulthood. Hopefully, they all end up making it. And the bear scare at the beginning of the episode was uh, a little bit more than I was hoping for, not gonna lie. Um, I was hoping we'd get off a little bit easier than that, but uh, not, not quite so much luck, it seems. Uh, beaver? Beaver? Yeah, Solstice is a uh, Solstice is nervous about this as well. It sounds like, um, but let's go ahead. We'll woof him back into the grass, and uh, we will go ahead. Maybe can we, we? I don't didn't want to roll. I wanted to play about, but we'll, I guess we'll join Aspen in rolling. I don't know if uh, if he will still respond to that or not. Oh, let's uh, make sure you get back to the the grass, please. Yes, where are the coyotes? Where are these coyotes? I do not see them. They're probably gonna come popping over the hill or something. Nope. Uh, I do smell, um... I do smell some kind of... Is that the cooler? That's probably the cooler. But I don't know. Let's not get distracted by that just yet. Yeah, get out of here. Leave. There you are. Heard him yipping at the last second. Get out. Ooh, hey. Get out. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. You better leave. Now, is this just the cooler that we're smelling? I did sniff something. Some kind of some kind of item for a minute. Well, whatever it is, I think the wind direction has shifted now. Whoops. I'm probably that was all that was. If it popped up on the scent view, I didn't see it, so I apologize if that's not. But we'll let these guys sleep and uh, we'll see how things are going come morning. Uh-oh. That's not a good sound. That's not a... What? Oh no, now Beaver is sick. Beaver is sick and we have stranger wolves? Oh goodness, okay, stay in the grass, stay in the grass. No, 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 Stay in the grass, stay in the grass, stay in the grass, stay in the grass. Everybody stay in the grass. Where are these wolves? Where are these wolves? Where are they? Oh, they're over there. Who is this? Get out! Who are these? Who are you? Junction Butte! Oh my goodness, I think this is the Buttes themselves. It seems like. Alright, stay in the grass. I'm gonna try to make sure we... Oh, hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Leave. Leave. I'm trying to make sure that my puppies do not, uh, do not burst into the open. Oh, you're gonna bite me. I'll bite you back for that. Get out of here, heckers. All right, let's uh, let's make sure. I like to go back and make sure. Stay away. Get away. Oh, there we go. Now I can target you. Get out of here. I just like to make sure. Junction Butte three F. So it's it's uh, this is uh one of the younger pack members. Leave. Please stay in the grass. Please stay in the grass. Y'all get out. Get out. This is Solstice's family too. They just won't leave us alone. Are they leaving now? Finally. No, they're not! Get out! Y'all, get out of here! Whew, finally! It's about dang time! Yeah, let's go ahead and howl as well. Goodness! They're gonna walk by. Yep. So that's Solstice's dad. Uh, I take it he's not too, not too fond of, uh, Solstice's life choices here, it seems like. But, but Cricket's having none of that. She'll bite his butt if he doesn't leave her alone. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, that introduces a new complication. Beaver's at 19 pounds, but he's been going up rather slowly in, in weight because he is the runt. I don't know, you guys. This could be a bit of a situation. We're just gonna go ahead and do a quick hunt. We'll see if there's any beavers still around, but we might have to spend a little while just kind of laying low. And how is our territory looking? Let's see on the, the map. Um, it's not bad. This area could use some brushing up, but I don't know if it's worth going for right now. Let's just see if we can find some food first. And then after that, we'll, um, we'll see. Oh, there go the, there go the wolves. They might have scared any beavers that were around. Oh, there's one on the trail here. Oh, souls, just be careful. 
Careful. Let's let's see. Oh nope, there he goes. All right, never mind. We're gonna we're gonna try to jump him. We've got he's got quite a ways to get to the water, but uh, we did not get the bonus. Oh, Solstice got a good bite on him though. I'm gonna make sure Cricket's stamina stays high because that's one of the biggest things that can prevent you from successfully hunting a beaver is when your stamina drops in the middle of it. Uh, Solstice, if you can help too, if he gets a good bite here, yeah, he did get one a little bit. Cricket's uh, stamina is starting to get a little low though. But the beaver's health is, is quite low, so hopefully we can take it down. Especially if Solstice gets a bite, too. Oh, it's gonna bite. Oh, he got it. He got it. Good job, Solstice. Let's bring this back for the pups, and then we will eat whatever's left of it and uh, see how everyone is doing. All right, let's go ahead and feed the puppies. <laughs> Evie is Evie's in my doorway. I'm a little bit distracted again. <laughs> She keeps coming in and out. I think she thinks it's time to eat. It's not time to eat, Evie. I don't don't know what exactly she's up to. I think, think she either wants food or she is in her crazy time. <laughs> running running around getting into things and might be about to start rampaging through the house. You're just standing on that rug normally. You've been terrified of that rug for weeks and now you're just standing on it? What are you doing? I'm gonna get in so much trouble in this game now because I'm gonna be watching my cat. <laughs> I'm gonna look over and there's gonna be a bear standing on top of my puppies. <laughs> she, she's just hanging out though. She's just hanging out. I think she might just be curious as to what's going on. Either that or she's trying to convince me to open a door in the house to a room she's literally never been allowed in. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what she's doing. Happy, what you doing? Alright, I'm gonna woof these guys back in the grass briefly and we will we will eat what remains of this beaver. Make sure we got some extra food there. And uh, oh yeah, we got plenty of extra. Alright, I'll let um I'll let Cricket eat some of this. Did they eat to full? They did. Okay, so they just didn't need all that much food. Um, but we'll let Cricket eat some of it and then we'll also let Solstice Abby! What are you doing? <laughs> She's trying to sneak under my bed, I think. And <laughs> she's not allowed to do that. There's cords and stuff under there. I, I don't know. She she she's in mischief mood right now, I guess. So <laughs> this, this is Evie getting to trouble hours. <laughs> I'll have to go check on her, but I think on that note, we are going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.